Welcome back to Explode the Vatican. I'm Red Ocelot. I'm Jack Silverson, and man, episode five's kind of a dick in uh, all these uh, stories, isn't it? Uh, yeah, pretty much all of the Edge Master Mode stories are very difficult. They're for people who want to master these games, to be honest. Of course, it's not Edge Master Mode in Soul Calibur 2, it's Weapon Master Mode. Yep. Even though it's the same principle. And in Soul Calibur, it's like... It's Edge Master Mode. It's Edge Master Mode? I don't think it's called that. Pretty sure it has a different name in Soul Calibur. Oh, he guard impacted. He parried. Motherfucker. It's called a guard impact in this game. It is what it is. It's a fighting game parry. What do you think the most complicated fighting game is? Um... Probably Virtual Fighter. That's what I was going to say. Because you can't just button mash. You're going to get your ass kicked if you do that. You will get your ass handed to you if you do that. And people who are... Uh, I mean, Dead or Alive has a lot of those elements too. Dead or Alive has a lot of really good stuff in it. It's got the counter system and all that shit. There we go. Let's hope you do just as well against Lee Long. Eh, he just took me apart. That should have fucking hit. There you go. You win. Dude, he shouldn't have hit you there. Yeah, he's got fucking Maxi's reach at least. That is to say, it's entirely bullshit. Yep. I was actually backing up when he hit me too. Whoa, good, good. Didn't help, doesn't help. I've started on Lee Long like three times now with full health and it didn't help me. Yeah! Fuck yeah. Yeah, we did it. Well, you did it. I wonder what weapon I get now. Whichever, whatever. The cross the cross axe. axe. Is that good? Upon defeating the mercenary castle defender Siegfried and the assassin Lee Long from the east, who sought the weapons in the castle, Rock obtained the cross axe just as the castle fell. We'll see. I already fought Valdo, so... That's better than what I got. Yeah, that's better than what you got. The Mediterranean. Yeah, I'm in Valdo's house. A woman's voice. Taki. Taki again. Again. Although wounded, you must defeat the enemy. What do you start with half health? Probably. You start with no health. Oh, fucking Taki. Man, look at those polygonal shadows. They look good for PS1 shadows. Fight. 
Damn. Oh, shit, dude. You were close. She's too damn fast. Very fast. She's like my worst enemy in these games. Mine too. Ill fittingly in later in later games in the series, even I can't uh, get Taki down. Yeah, Taki's terrible. First Taki, fight. Yeah, I'm already dead. You lose. Edge Master Mode is like the most unfair game ever. First Taki, fight. <laughs> Yeah, yes. good work. At least we weren't stuck there as long as we were with uh, Wong. The double tomahawk. Pirates. Pirates. I'm gonna try it. I'm about to fight Cervantes. I think. Cervantes de Leon. Pirates. Cervantes. Soul Edge. Rock sprung up with a war cry upon the man. Defeat the enemy. Rock versus Cervantes. Notice this is episode 7 and not episode 8. This is not the end of the story. I have yet to land a hit on this son of a bitch. Notice how much faster Rock is now that I have the double tomahawk. Indeed. But it's not helping. You lose. Back into the battle. First Cervantes. Fight. <laughs> Uh, Bravely Folk Song is so good. It's so climactic. So fittingly climactic. He's so fucking fast! Calm down. <laughs> and you telling me I need to watch my volume control? <laughs> and he'll do that same damn combo every time, so it doesn't really matter how you block, he's going to hit you. See? Might as well just sit here and let him kill me now. Well, he's not the main antagonist for nothing. He's not the main antagonist. Inferno is the main antagonist. First, Cervantes. Fight. This is like the second fastest weapon I have right now, and it's not doing any good against Cervantes. I'm literally just sitting here waiting to get stomped on. And he has such long reach, such speed, and such power that if I just go for straight out attack, I'm going to lose. Next time on Expo Devoted, we're fighting this asshole some more.